Hello students. Today uh, we are going to start with our lesson first from the book The Stars. The third heaven. This is the lesson by Jack Finney. I would like to first introduce the lesson. The lesson, the theme of the lesson is what? The modern world or life you can say is full of insecurity, fear, war, worry and stress. So the protagonist of this story tried to escape through his imaginary world or past. Yes, he wanted to get rid of from all this type of uh, this type of life and uh, so what he tried to do he tried to escape through whatever his imaginary world it is there we are not knowing that whether this is a uh, real or it's only imagination because uh, with the help of certain characters the story is explained and there is still uh, the aim is a little bit confusion so uh, the story in this story the characters are Charlie, the narrator or the protagonist we can say then the next is uh, Louisa his wife and Sam Leonard his friend actually it is his friend but that uh, Miss Sam Leonard is also a psychiatrist okay so now we are going to start with the actual lesson what the lesson it is contained the narration begins in the mock serious manner. The president of New York Central and the New York New Heaven and Hartford Railroads will swear on a stock of timetables that there are only two levels at Grand Central Station. Okay, so there are only means a Grand Central Station it is there and there are only the two levels which are actually there but Charlie the narrator asserts there are three means Charlie is thinking that there are the three levels at Grand Central Station he has been on the third level why he was saying like this because he actually went there and he experienced that the third level of that Grand Central Station he talked to a psychiatrist friend Sam Venner about it because he also knew that there are only the two levels but as he went to or as he uh, actually visited to that third level he was having some doubts in his mind and he visited his friend uh, who was actually a psychiatrist Sam Venner and he told everything about that third level to him he dismissed it as it as a walking dream fulfillment. So Sam Weather only uh, told him that this is only his walking dream and this is not the real one. He said the narrator was unhappy. The narrator's wife, Luisa, was sad when she heard about such type of uh, story by her husband. The psychiatrist explained that the modern world was full of insecurity, fear, war, uh, worry and stress and so uh, the narrator just wanted to escape from it and his friends also acted means uh, Charlie also accept that yes this is only his imagination and they thought that his habit of stamp collecting was a temporary refugee from reality this is also the fact means his hobby was collecting the stamps so that must be uh, getting him uh, connected with the past only or uh, took him to the past memories. So Charlie was 31 year old. Now we are talking about the character of the story Charlie. He was an <coughs> ordinary guy. One night he wanted to get up, up down to his home to Luisa. He was uh, coming back to his home. So he turned into the Grand Central Station from Vanderbilt Avenue. He went down the steps to the first level where one should take trains like the 20th century means the fast trains. Then he walked down another five 
of stairs to the second level some of our trains left from here get dumped into an off doorway heading for the subway and got lost so he was moving down to the second level and he moved into uh, the uh, off doorway and there he found that he lost his way the corridor charlie was in began inclining inclining at an angle and sloping downwards so the slope it was there he thought that he was wrong means he was moving down but at the same time he realized that something is going wrong with him but he kept on walking so he continued with his uh, steps and he heard the empty sound of only his own footsteps means he was lonely there no one was there he didn't pass anyone and then the tunnel turned a sharp left he went down a short flight of stairs and came out on the third level at grand central station so he actually visited there that was the day when he was uh, there at the third level of grand central station for a moment he thought he was back on the third level the second level is he was thinking that this is not the third level but the second level but at the same time he saw a uh, one small room it was there there were the fewer ticket windows and the train gates moreover the information booth in the center was wooden and old looking means it was a typical one which was used earlier the man in the booth wore a green eye shade eye shade means what a long sleeve shirt and a long black sleeve protector as well sorry eye shade eye shade means not that long sleeve but that eye shade means what that uh, one type of a uh, cap which can protect from the bright light the open flame gas light were dim and flickering there were brass spittoons on the floor spittoons means uh that a container which uh, was used in the past for spitting there were a glint of light across the station the a man pulled a gold watch from his vest pocket the man snapped open the cover glanced at his watch and frowned like this he wore a derby hat and a black four button suit with a tiny lapels means that was a typical older style clothes he wore he had a big black handlebar mustache handlebar means what slightly turned up uh, upward mustache then charlie looked around he saw that everyone in the station was dressed like 1890 something means that was the period of 1890 a woman walked in through a train gate and she wore a leg of mutton sleeve and skirts or to the top of her high button shoes mutton sleeves means also a long tight sleeves top he also saw a very small courier and eyes locomotive with a funnel shaped stop charlie knew that he was back in 1890s means he was confirmed when he saw that a boy uh, walking just passed by her and glanced at the stump of papers at his feet it was the world the world said something about president cleveland he knew that the world had not been published for years this is the newspaper from the files of the public library he came to know the date of that issue was june 11 1894 so that was the date was printed on the newspaper and that was a, a kind of a confirmation for him that he has entered in the 1890s thank you